Brown Sea Island is located in Poole, Dorset. It is one and a half miles long and three quarters of a mile wide. It boasts 500 acres of woodland consisting of pine and oak and houses heathland and salt marsh. Brown Sea Island is owned by the National Trust and much of it is open to the public where you can find large areas of woodland and heath with a wide variety of wildlife. The island was the location of the experimental camp in 1907 that led to the formation of the Scout Movement the following year. Join us on the journey. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening folks. We are in Poole, Dorset. And we're launching a cow, or to the boat, rather. So uh, join us, shall you, for this, uh, well, I guess, special. Join us in a minute. Oh, that's oh God. <laughs> Kick it up with the waders, folks. Oh, the on the old feet as well. It's like being back in the battle HQ, isn't it? So much so, my feet are <laughs> Waders are king, folks. And the life jacket is king, too. What do you reckon? I could Yamaha some of that. You fall then. We've only got like 20 yards. We've got to lug this trailer up. I've thoroughly looked at the situation and determined there's nothing I can do to help. Okay, let's do it then. Let's do it. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Just put your phone away for a second. Got Ray on the uh, the off key, pushing it. Right, folks, trailer dropped off. Time to scramble on board. Now, somewhere here, guys, there is a drop on the edge of the slipway. So we've got to be careful. Yeah. Oh no! That's the destination over there, folks. Look at this wave. There it is, guys. Right. Captain Pugwash. Let's do it. Right, we've arrived, folks, and I can walk on water. It's looking good. It's a proper day at the beach, isn't it, Ray? We are about to make a landing, folks. We are about to make a landing. What a beautiful day. I'll, um, I'll shut up for a minute. I'll just let you listen how nice and tranquil this is. Guys, just look how awesome this place is. I mean, absolutely stunning. It's like a proper paradise here. We're just uh, finding somewhere to hang our waders. Why does this feel a bit castaway-y? <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Right, folks, we're on the move. So, uh, as you've guessed or seen previously on the way, Industries. Hello. And, uh, Thanks to uh, Matt as well for the awesome but slow ride over. I think the outboard had some issues, but this is awesome. Like, absolutely awesome. I Couldn't have asked for a better day, to be honest. It's absolutely fantastic. It is. So I'll, uh, I'll pan it round and show you where we've got to go. So that's where we've got to head. Quite a nice little trail, actually. So you can see there has been some, uh, I don't know, landslip is the word trees and roots have just kind of ended up on the beach so uh yeah this is where we've got to go this is beautiful guys like if you're thinking this is cool it is so there's uh there's ray 
Uh, I don't know where Matt's gone. Oh, he's all the way over there. So, look at this beauty. Where do we start? I think we've got to go up here and then it curves around to the right and then there's a main path. Oh yeah, found it pretty easy. So that's the main path, folks. That is the main path. And that's where we're headed. Slight error, we're not going that way. We're going this way. I uh, fox trotted up a little bit. Lovely exercise, lovely walk. Lovely sight down there. Yeah, a few uh, lovely sights. <laughs> Dotted around if you get my uh, drift. We've even got some uh, flowers here, folks. It's oh, quite yeah. photogenic, isn't it? Look at that. Uh, yeah. Awesome. Oh, hey, Ray, look what I see. Oh, I see a seat. My language. We've only just stood up. Yeah. <laughs> if you followed us for a while, or indeed see me in uh, the guys' videos, I always like to grab a seat when I can, just because why not? And voila, seat. You've got some piping over. Yeah, there. piping. It's kind of a weird. You can see the old roof in the slate. Don't know what that would have been. Maybe a little guard's hut or something. I don't know. This might tell us. Oh, there you go. Maryland Village. I'll zoom up so you can see that, guys. Oh look, there's some more foundations there, look. Uh, look, there's some tin. Yeah. I really want to walk up the hill, by the way. I was going to go under it, but see. That's electrified, mate. I mean, obviously without filming people, there are like people here as you can just sort of make out. So, we're all good, we're all good. Right, folks, Ray's uh, spotted a sign, Pottery Pier. So uh, he said it'd be rude if we didn't go down and have a look. So that's what we do. It looks like we got ourselves a staircase, folks. That's pretty steep, to be fair. Um, I mean, that's not a problem, but obviously we got to get back up here and head back the way we were originally going to go. So um, that could be a bit of a workout and time consuming as well. The Frenchman's done it. He's decided we're doing it. One of the questions in my Q&A video is um, someone asked, why do I call you the Frenchman? But basically, folks, I did like a half hour Q&A video where um, I asked people just to send me questions. And um, I did a video and answered it. Uh, it's on the EW Plus channel, the uh, second channel. So um, I'll drop a link in the top right now for that if you're interested. Um, so go check that out after this video. Well, this is a banging pier, mate. Oh, no, there is a pier there. I was being sarcastic because I couldn't see one. And there is actually a pier there. Is someone put a help? Uh, sign there on the beach at Pebbles. What does it say? It begins with a P. Oh, well, there we are. No dogs, no fires, no BBQs. Well, there we go, folks. Yeah. Folks, we found our first pheasant or second. Folks. We might have found something interesting. It's probably nothing. Maybe something to do with water. EWS. Don't know what that is. It's probably a um, little bunker, like old oh, World War II or something. I spy a seat over there. Yeah, nothing around this side. Let's just see what this entrance is here. It's probably got a padlock. I think I can see a padlock on it. padlock yeah we've just come across this guys it looks like some sort of activity center but it's open and i can i think i can hear people yeah there's people here <laughs> toilets are probably down here somewhere yeah, oh yeah maybe we should give that a rating guys look at this slab of concrete that wasn't there this morning was it no no i don't think it was that reminds me of Eddie doing his um, peacock impression. Oh, there's more, there's a teepee. Oh, I can see people. Yeah, this is definitely some sort of activity centre. Oh, there we go, it's got some um, right on it. Oh, Baden Powell, yeah, 1907. Founded the Scouts here. So yeah, this is a uh, Scouts Island. This is where it all originated, Boy Scouts. 
there's some people down there, so I'm just trying to not make it quite so obvious. I thought that was a hammock at first. We, we walked right up and said, oh my god, there's a people. Yeah, I thought I could hear it. It's lovely blue, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. It's not even wide angle can you get the whole tail in. Look at that. Literally, he doesn't care that we're here. Look. No. There he is, up close. Wow. He used to get my clothing off me. Look at the underfeathers, look. I don't worry, mate. I'm not going to touch you. Wow. Look, you in? Hello there. Well, it's safe to say that other one was a pheasant. The crazy thing about this, guys, is like you just wouldn't think we're on a little island. It's just you're isolated, basically, from the mainland. It's, it's very peaceful. Right, well, we found the toilets. So since we've not found anything else exciting, it's time for a toilet rating. Ah, oh, should we give that a... Uh... Well, now the lights come on, give it a six. Some... Uh... Quite cool looking little uh, bits of pulleys here. Welcome to the farm. Oh, there we go, folks. Look at that. Nice bit of agricultural stuff. Pretty cool equipment. Wagon carts and tools. Yeah, I'll just pan that. Slowly, if you want to pause it. I did miss the cow on this side. On the flip side. Oh, I, did, I literally just walked straight past this, mate. I didn't even see this. That's not like you. No. I hate to get into you. It's a little small gauge railway, look. Little wheels. That's cool, isn't it? It's called a play. Yeah, it's like you'd see in a mine, sort of. Well, there you go, folks. Two pairs of eyes is always better than one. So, folks, we are en route to the castle, but we've just come across this church. You can just see in the background there. So we're going to uh, have a look, see if we can get in and have a look round. That uh, might be quite interesting. How does that look, folks? Pretty good. There might be a door around the other side open. I've never known a church to be locked. No, walk around if you want, have a look. Come through the window. Yeah, window's open. <laughs> Couldn't fit through that. Ooh. <laughs> okay. That's creepy. God, I wouldn't like to be in there at night. No. Come on. What have we got? A Juicen's bag. Oh, is that a red, red screw? Yeah. Look how rare that is. That is bloody rare, red squirrel. I'm not going to get any closer than that. Because all the American grey squirrels came over here and um, basically colonised the whole um, the UK. So we don't there, have there many is, left. Ah, oh, there we are, folks. What a bonus. A I see him, he's out there. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, walk around and have a look. Have you ever seen a red squirrel? No. I've seen a black one. You can get black black squirrels as well. And you can get white ones. But they're um, most commonly in North America. That looks open. Ah, oh, but it's not, is it? God dang it. Ah, uh, yeah, that's the main gate where we came in. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Is it well deep? Yeah. See? Oh, look at that. It's a weeping angel, guys. There we go. Lord Baden Powell. He's the chief. Yep. That's the guy that founded the scouts. There we go. There he is. 
Is it 1907? I um, believe. I was never a scout, was it? Yeah, there you go. 1907. August 1st. Where is it? There it is. Yeah, this is where it all starts, folks. That's an old uh, Lamb Rover. Don't see too many of them nowadays. So this is the castle here. Probably can't get in, to be fair, but we'll have a little look around anyway. Dorset Fire and Rescue Service. It's got a, oh no, I thought it was a jersey number plate. Oh, wow, look at that. Way out and toilets. Yeah, you just wouldn't think you're on an island, would you? So secluded, obviously until you get to this bit. Start your journey. Is that a chain ferry? Yeah, that's the sandbanks, chain yeah, ferry, isn't it? It's out of order at the moment, the game. Yeah, it looks like it's moving though, doesn't it? If you look at the front of it, it looks like it's moving, but if you look at the back, it's not. Or is it? I'm not sure it is. It is. Oh yeah, mate. So it's not, it is working. I was expecting that to be ER, but yeah, it makes sense. Boring. There's the crow, the cannon. Well, folks, how about that? This looks good. So, uh, I think we're just gonna head back now because we've been on the island about two hours, believe it or not. So we're just gonna head back and um, obviously if we see anything, we'll bring it to you. So uh, I guess this Explorer is a little bit different in that we haven't sort of seen anything abandoned. It's more just a, uh, sort of a, you know, special outing, just kind of see the sights, see a part of uh, the island that you, you wouldn't normally get to see. So uh, yeah, like I say, anything we see on route, we'll pick it up, including that fella. Just found some hoisin folks. Sarah and Sarah All right, something I said. <laughs> You called it Sarah, I didn't like it. No, it's a program that kids watch. Sarah and Duck. Wah. Mate, look at the state of that tree. Look at the spider web from there. What do you reckon, folks? That looks a bit abandoned, doesn't it? Doesn't look very tidy. What a weird tree that is. It's like a, um, a bicep on an arm, isn't it? Show us, Steve. Don't need to, you can see that one. That's better looking than mine. Folks, number eight. Let's have a look. Ooh. Well, there we are. Oh, lovely and warm in there. You shut us in a, in a hide. Mate, it's blowing in here. Yeah, it's like a greenhouse. Look, we found oh. an eagle. It's even got like, uh, we can sit down and have a drink. Kookaburra. Kookaburra in the old tree. Oh, there we are, folks. Oh, look, look at that lake. Oh, that looks nice. Welcome. How's that for a photo? Two. So we make a swish. Exit. Remember, exit to the right, because there's no escape to the left. Yeah, there's little bird windows up there. Yeah, nice part of Dorset, this. Right, folks, just an update. The path we were using has just kind of disappeared. Is there someone there? No. So now, as you can see, we're going as the crow flies. So we've got to get down to the beach and then walk along and uh, rendezvous with Matt. So uh, this might get interesting, but... Uh, we we'll join you when we get back, back down the bottom, I think. We've just found a mine shaft. No way. Let's have a look at the sign. Street, oh mate. It's not much left of it. It's like flooded, but I'd love to 
explore that. We now know it's here. There must be another entrance somewhere. Oh man. Mine shaft, guys. Oh yeah, that's like flooded to hell. That's annoying. I bet Matt hadn't even seen that. No. Found another entrance. Not as flooded, is it? No. Oh, there's got to be more. That, yeah, no way. Oh, hey. Well, there's another one. Yeah, let's go and check the next one. I mean, realistically, we're not going to get in there. Um, but, you know, the decision to come down here happened for a reason. Otherwise, we wouldn't have seen these. Yeah, there's two more. This one's absolutely flooded. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's annoying. Never knew about that. No. But... Yeah, that, oh, that might be what that other circle thing was back there then. Because if you Sweet. look at the brickwork... Why we stood here then? <laughs> yeah, realistically, that's probably flooded. But look at the brickwork here, the uh, circle of brickwork. Yeah. Let's have a quick look at this one. This is probably the last one, which is also flooded, I can see. Watch your foot in. There might be just a random hole here. That's just um, aftermarket grill. No way. Oh, mate, the tide's come up. I've got a feeling the tide has come up quite a bit. No way. Oh, this is fine. Yeah, this is where you get your sand in your shoes now. So we've probably got a good, at least a couple of hundred yards to walk on this. And it literally looks like we're on castaway right now. If you just ignore the... <laughs> if you look this way, you just cut that bit out. Uh, yeah. Well, sir. So we've got to navigate this. Hope the tide doesn't come up. I mean, worst case, we can get to shore. Oh yeah. Worst case, we can just jump up shore and walk along. Um, so that's no biggie. But uh, yeah, we got to get just up there and find where the boat is. And more importantly, are our waders still there? Captain Podwatchers. We're going to have to navigate this fallen tree here. There's a lot of footprints here, though. Yeah, there's lots of like that could be from um, the mine shaft. Walls. Well, where all these are falling down, you never know, there might be an entrance up there. Yeah. Look at my word, it is big and long. It that might great. be a good cinematic for the, the opening. <laughs> Would you like to sit on it? <laughs> More flexible, mate. Yeah, you don't want to get uh, stuck on that, do you? I've got good ground clearance. Whoa! Um, it's just occurred to me. <laughs> we better hurry up in case uh, there's a landslip. Wait, that sounds a bit dramatic, doesn't it? Who does that sound like? Look how, how we haven't got any ground enough to uh, climb on in the second. Yeah, look at this, guys. So, uh, let me zoom up on the boat. I think that's Matt there on the boat. Hopefully we can. Yeah, um, and we've got to get there before the. I'm assuming the tide is coming up because it looks like it's come up a lot. And I think I don't know what tide levels um, coming and out at, um, but it's probably an inch every ten minutes, maybe, which doesn't sound a lot. So we should be right. Yeah, that's Matt. I think we're good. That's pretty impressive, isn't it? Well, guys, as we near the end of our journey, um, hope you've enjoyed. Uh, not quite the end yet, but just uh, sort of outro ready. But yeah, not not an urbex one, just a general explore this one. So if you watch to the end, uh, thank you for sticking with us. I hope you have enjoyed. Um, it's nice just to do something a bit more relaxed, to be honest. I mean, what's not to love about this? So. Um, yeah, I'll expect to uh, show a few bits getting back on the boat and getting back out. There's actually an entrance there. Is there? I'm not getting any further close to look. Oh, shit. I think that's just a cavity where it's... Um, Matt's waiting for us up here. He's actually come ashore. Oh, this is going to be interesting. I'm going to have to wade here. I'm going to wait, I'm going to wait for a, a break in the waves. Go, 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 go! go. Oh. How are your new boots? Wet yet? Nope. There he is, folks. It looks like a tar pit or something. It's yeah. flooded. It's a mine shaft. Mine shaft. There's four. Yeah. Unstable. Do you know what? In my video, I actually said, hey, look, folks, it's the Oak Island Money Pit. <laughs> You're not wrong. Yeah, back of the waders, guys. Uh, I am boiling, and we've got to put these back on.
Oh. Well, this well. get your legs wet. Nah, I'm good. Wet as it is. Yeah. Right, see you on the other side, folks. Well, folks, we made it the other side. So, uh, yeah, that's the end. Uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. And uh, see you on the next one. And, uh, yeah, in this as well. Cheers, guys.